Good afternoon, everybody. This is going to be a tutorial on how to create directories and files on your Windows PC. Okay, well, so we all know if we right-click and, and select New and the new folder, we can name this folder anything. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so, and then we go in here and we open it up by double-clicking it. We're in the folder of anything. We can create a new directory in here or... A new text document or whatnot. I'm going to show you how to do this via command prompt. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. Oh, and I'll click delete. And what you want to do is you want to look for CMD. Okay, CMD like this. And uh, we're going to access it like this. You could right click and run as administrator if you like. So you see we're in C users Maxis Miss Movie because that's the name of this computer. So if I if I type CD or DIR okay and then go slash P or let's put a space slash P slash W I can see all the files that are on here okay and I can do it one at a time. But I want to make my way to the desktop so I'm going to type CD D E S K T O P just like that and right away I'm in the desktop and if I wanted to see what was in there I just hit D I R and hit enter you can see I have a lot of files in there uh, so let's say that I wanted to make remake that folder anything only we'll call it anything one so so we'll go make D I R that's how you make a directory and we'll call it anything one with a number one okay now, how do we know that it's there? Okay, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this over off to the side here so you could see what's going on. And let me bring that anything directory over here so you could see. And here it is right here, anything one. So I created that file in there. And if you open it up, you'll see that nothing is in there right now, right? So we're going to open this, just leave this open like this here. All right, so we have anything one, and maybe we want to make another directory inside there. So <clears throat> what we do is go CD, which is change directory, and then type in anything one, and you'll see right here, now we're in anything one. So maybe we'll make a, another directory in there just to show you that I did it. M-K-D-I-R, and we'll put test just like that. And you'll notice right away, magically we have this directory of test and let's make another one call this one ggg m k d i r g g g okay and you'll see it just it just appears so what about making files well how about uh, let's make a file we'll start with a b c and then caret to the right and we'll call this test.txt right and then you'll see test.txt uh, test.txt appear over there. Uh, you can make pretty much any file that you want, you know. Maybe uh, you, you want to make a, a PDF file. So let's do um, ABC, okay, care to the right, test.pdf, all right. That's now we just made a PDF file, okay. So uh, you can make any file that you want. Let's, let's make another file. So let's go ABC, here to the right and we'll call this test.png for like a graphic okay and you see there that we have a graphic file called test all right so let's say let's say that we okay we make it all these files and folders how do we delete them right so if we're just playing around well we just for the files all we have to do is while we're in this anything one folder just hit del and the test.txt and you'll notice that text file will delete watch so magically disappears and then del at test dot pdf let's delete that one okay see it just disappears del test dot png png see that that'll just disappear now what about those directories what if we want to delete those directories okay for that we have a little bit of special command we could go uh del ggg and then it's going to ask for sure and we could go yes but you'll see that it doesn't delete the directory because there's a little problem there i don't know if it's windows 10 or whatnot but there's another command for that it's called rd and then you go slash s space slash q and then put ggg the, the name of the directory you want to delete and then then voila it's deleted so
Uh, you can make directories and files and everything like that. So let's let's go ahead and create our uh, 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 ABC carrot to the right and test.txt file. Okay. Now <clears throat> there's our test.txt file, but let's say that we wanted to open it in Notepad++. We would go start Notepad or just Notepad, and then do the name of the file test.txt. And notice what happens. Okay. Windows cannot find Notepad. So what we, what we have to do is make sure that we spell things correctly, Maximus. Okay. So start Notepad. Okay. Test dot txt just like that. And it started, but it started in a different window. So let me bring this up for you. It didn't pop up for you like I thought it was going to. <laughs> okay, well, there it is. So here we have a uh, test in our notepad. Then we, could start, we can start working here. Okay, so, and then you hit Control S and it'll save the file, whatever you want to do. All right, so anyway, that's how you... Uh, do things with the command prompt and uh, you know you create folders and delete folders and files and and I hope this has been beneficial to somebody because it's kind of like the beginnings of on how you can use SSH command prompt your, to do uh, things on and, your server. Uh, so this will start if you want in your way to SSH. It's massive they even website on the server and you're streamlining from one server to another in SSH. But uh, this working with stuff like this will help you understand better on how to use these commands and so on and so forth.